Microbes has been disclosed to be one of the major organisms essential to the planet. This was revealed by Professor Ernest Atonya at the University of Benin's 307th inaugural lecture. The professor said plants recharges the environment with oxygen, preventing it from depleting to a dangerous level. Our correspondent, Edidion Ibanya, brings details. The lecture titled Microbes, Xenobiotics and the Environment, a microbiologist's journey took place at the Akinde Co Auditorium, Ugbawa Campus, Uniben, drawing insights into the intricate world of microbiology. Professor Ernest Atwaya, an academia in the field of environment and public health microbiology, explained that the 50% of the oxygen in the atmosphere is provided by trees. Without microbes, plants cannot grow. Most plants cannot grow. Garbage and not decay. And there are a lot less oxygen to breathe. In fact, without these invisible companions, our planet will not survive as we live them today. Yes. Let's cast our mind there. Who recharges the atmosphere? Who recharges the environment with oxygen? So it does not depend a dangerous level. It may be also to know that uh, 50% of the oxygen in the environment is provided by trees through photosynthesis. The remaining 50% is provided again by microorganisms called cyanobacteria, located in the depth of oceans and swampy areas. Professor Atwaya explained the complexities of microorganisms and how their activities interact with toxic substances in the environment. On biological sentinel, we found that the soil reduces the growth of nitrobatters in aqueous medium and also cause chronic effects on, my, on microbial activities of transformation activities in the soil. This part also is visited on the on fresh and brackish water streams. It also reduces the growth rate of 8-1. This is the 78th lecture delivered under the tenure of Vice Chancellor Professor Lillian Salami. Inaugural lectures hold immense significance as platforms for eminent professors to share their expertise and insights with the academic community and the wider public. Edith Young Ibanga, ADBN News.